Hello and welcome to this tutorial. My name is Eric Bosha. I am the Low Vision Product Manager here at Humanware. In, tuto in today's tutorial, we will look at the new simplified user interface available on your new Mat Connect. These interfaces are available on Prodigy 4.0.0. In order to select these new simplified interfaces, we have to go into the Settings application in Prodigy. In Settings, we select User Interface, and then in User Interface, we select Interface. We have three options, Advanced, Standard, and Basic. These are the three interfaces that are available. The Advanced version of the interface is the interface that is presently on your Mat Connect right now. A standard interface is available, which is a subset of the advanced interface. And again, the basic version uh, of the interface is another subset of the standard interface. Let's start with the standard interface. By selecting standard interface and going back, you will be brought to the magnification application. And this application will be your default application. So each time you boot your Mat Connect, you will end up in the magnification application. On the button banner, a couple of buttons have been added. If I start from the left of the button banner, I have a first button here, which is the gallery button. So if I press on the gallery button, it will bring me to a gallery application, a flat gallery application, flat level gallery application. If there is more than one image in my gallery, I can use the arrows, one on the right hand side and one on the left hand side to scroll through my images. I can still use my finger if I'd like to scroll with my finger. If I come back, the second button from the left is the contrast button. The contrast button will loop through set contrast colors that is set by your teacher or the user. I will show you how to well I will show you how to set these contrast colors a bit later on. The third button is my distance application button. So if I click on that this will bring me to my distance application to use my distance camera. Once my distance camera is activated and connected, I can take either a capture. The OCR will be done automatically on that capture. I can change the magnification levels and I can also change the contrast colors. And I also have the option of going into my gallery with the gallery, the gallery application button. So if I click on the gallery application button, I'm brought to my gallery. If I come back, I come back to my distance application. If I go back to my magnification application, my fourth button from the left is the capture button. By pressing the capture button, this will do the OCR automatically and save the image on the device. I can start once the OCR is done, I can start reading my captured image and pause it. I can zoom in my capture image using my plus or my sign, my minus sign uh, buttons, or I can change my contrast colors. In order to add some more contrast colors to my contrast button, I press and hold the contrast button for about five seconds. I need to be in my magnification application. Now, once I, I have pressed, pressed and hold the contrast button for five seconds, you're brought to a menu, a configuration menu, which has a couple of settings. A contrast settings, an option to go to the full settings of Prodigy, an option to delete the gallery content, or an option to autofocus 
lock to lock your autofocus. The one that I'm interested in right now is the contrast uh, option. I can change the contrast on my text and button. By doing that, I will change my interface that I'm using. I can change also my magnification contrast. And this, I can select several that I want. Let's say I want to have yellow and black on black in my options when I click on my contrast button. And uh, let's say I want to have black on cyan. And I go back to my magnifier. And then I press my contrast button. You will see that the two colors will be added to my loop when I press my contrast button. So this interface makes it really easy to access all the main features of Prodigy without all the fuss of uh, setting up all the other um, settings. In order to change from one interface to the other, when you're in the standard interface, press and hold the contrast button for approximately five seconds, choose settings, user interface, interface, and select the interface that you'd like. Let's select basic. In the next tutorial, we will go through the basic interface. Thank you for watching.